heart is so like I'm in a day to show. Alright guys, so I'm back again for another video today. It's part of the Rose Sneaker Challenge for the month of October. We're on day 15 now. You know, these days just keep on like going by faster and faster. And by that I mean it's going actually somewhat slow and I'm just really tired. And I don't know why October just continues to be the month full of challenges for me every year, every year. But, you know, besides that, let's look at this rose box, alright? So we got this white D rose box. D Rose logo here, you know, in the front. The thing with the white box is what this is what they would do like for limited edition pairs. So, you know, when they had a special colorway coming out, you'd know, ah, special because it's in this white box. And not only was it special because of that, but you also knew because it came with this little uh, drawstring bag as well. That has the D Rose logo on it there too. You know, a lot, lot of love. So, you know, the Rose 4s retail for 140 um, instead of the 160 that the 6s, or sorry, that the that the threes were for at least this colorway i think was 140 some of them were different i don't know it, it kind of in my memory of it i feel like they were more expensive than that thought they were still 160 for another year but i could be wrong but this box says 140 so i'm just gonna you know believe it and this is the chicago nightfall colorway of the rose fours and honestly it's one of my more light colorways of this shoe simply because um i really do like the way they mix the colors in and the way these laces are on this shoe i mean it's pretty dope um, so you can tell that with this purple, the little hit of the green, the blues, uh, the transitioning from like the, the purple to like the bluish, the green to, uh, you know, it's like almost like a yellowish green, like a lime green. Uh, it's all meant to represent the Chicago nightfall and how the skyline looks. So even like in the B-roll footage you'll see of it on my feet, you'll see the socks that go along with this pair, which actually, I still have a pair that I haven't opened up so I can show you guys just like here like this. This is kind of meant to play into that color of those shoes too, which is just kind of cool, you know. Um, now these are in a nine and a half. Um, this again is the thing where I realized when I uh, started playing these that probably going down half a size would have been better, but I just use it to put an insole in it because the way this um, midsole was set up with how this arch is, it kind of presses up into my foot a little bit, so it wasn't the most comfortable setup uh, in the world. The insole in here is one of those thicker Adidas insoles as I always like to talk about in the older pairs, and you can still see the printing on there that matches the colorway and the rose logo there, which is cool. You have GeoFit and the ankle collar. The cool thing with a lot of the Rose 4 colorways was they were always these two-tone colors. So you'd have a color up here, you know, and a different color here in the heel. Um, a lot of people really like that, but something was really cool and neat. Um, but you also, this whole collar piece right here was comprised of GeoFit mainly and these targeted areas that you can see inside the collar here. Um, so there's like that one right there you can see very easily and same on this side But then this tongue also here is GeoFit too with the padding and you can also see inside there This place for the Adidas my coach uh, speed cell you have the rose logo there on the tongue too Which is pretty dope and nice uh, You have three stripes again on the heels This last thing you see as he blows past you and they can transition onto the heel But as you see this outsole like I was saying when I reviewed the rose 773 twos The outsole is that you know holding you like pure motion setup, but on the rose fours it was a little bit thicker than it was on the 773s or the Crazy Quicks. Um, and this made it a little bit more durable for outdoor use, but also um, made it, I kind of, it wasn't as pliable uh, upon initial play as the Crazy Quicks were. These also feature a crash pad of Adi Pre in the heel, which is similar to how the Rose 1 and 1.5s are set up. So that's something kind of neat there, or maybe it was just the ones. I don't think the 1.5s had that. Honestly, my, my mind's kind of drawing a blank on it. You got Derrick Rose right here too on the front toe box as well, which is nice. And it's the same setup here on the other pair as well too. It says Derrick Rose there. And all the little other little features are the exact same throughout the shoe. So nothing nothing too special, nothing too, too you know, different with these compared to other ones. Um, the Rose 4s. Um, are something that we've all been interested in. It's the only other Rose line shoe that we've already seen a retro. So they retroed a pair of Rose 4s this, uh, like maybe it was two years ago, it was part of like the Geeked Up series. Um, and that was in a whole brand new colorway that had uh, the Geeked Up image of Derek right here on the shoe, which is pretty neat. But then also, as the leaks showed uh, earlier this week, the Rose 4s are gonna be getting retro. And I think this colorway, the Boardwalk colorway, um, the original black and like grayish colorway, which is the one I almost reviewed for today. And then 
I think that was it. I can't remember what, oh, oh the black and red ones I got last year. Those are also getting retro as well too. So pretty neat, pretty cool. Um, I'll look forward to seeing those. There's a rumor that they may have bounce in it. If they have bounce, that'll be kind of crazy. Um, but something else that's cool about the Rose 4 is in terms of like design language, this toe box is also the exact same toe box setup as what we'll see on the Rose 11s. So if I actually get one of those here in the mail anytime soon, because uh, where I've ordered a pair from actually from overseas, it's taken a while. I should have ordered from these other, these other group of people I know over in China that would have actually gotten them to me by now. But I digress. We'll, we'll get them when we get them, so I'm not going to complain too much. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of cool seeing some of that design language get carried on throughout the Rose line and seeing that again now in the Rose 11s. So I'll be curious to see how that all works out. And it's just kind of cool when you can see that uh, similar design language. Like the same with the outs on the 11s. It's from the 7s, you know. So that's, you know, that's about it. That's about it. I ain't really got much else to say, guys. Um, you know, I'll be back again tomorrow with another review of another Rose uh, shoe being a 4.5 tomorrow. Um, and yeah, something I will say real quick before I do leave is that I really do like on this heel cup how it has like that diamond pattern through the sprint frame here. It's pretty neat. I don't know. I just kind of find it kind of cool. Um, I remember playing in these, really enjoying playing in them. They were a fun shoe. Traction was great, you know. So if you get your hands on a pair of Rose Fours, you're dope. But then we'll see how the retros do as well too. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Peace and take care.